Hi, Gemini. It's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights. And this is your Life and Love Focus for the month of June 2019. Gemini, this is one of those seasons where it's good season. It's a good time to be very centered, you know, self-honoring, really taking account of how you take care of yourself and how you cater to yourself how do you pamper yourself? Um, this is also really good when it comes to your choices as well and making the right decisions, you know, decisions that may affect your life, you know? So for whatever reason, if you have had times where you felt like unsure, not really that attractive, or maybe you felt insecure for some reason, or if you felt perhaps just out of sync with yourself, you know? Like, I don't know if you guys ever really truly felt that way, but for a lot of you, for a great deal of you, actually, you've been going through that. This thing where you don't really know where you fit in at or what you're trying to do with yourself, and you kind of feel like it's the right thing to do, but then a part of you is like, no. So it's been a lot of... um indecisiveness. The good thing is the sun is in your sign. So this is a perfect time for you to kind of reconnect with yourself. Mercury spent a lot of time being in your, in your chart this season as well. So this is a really good time to kind of refocus on your long-term goals, whether it's health goals, um, physical goals, okay? It could be anything. It could even be financial goals or just simply having that balance, okay? But I feel like for a lot of you, you've been going through this, um, a lot of financial challenges, okay? In the month of May, I can't recall if I had a chance to actually post it on my YouTube channel, but in the month of May, I remember getting super excited for you because I just felt like you guys were walking into like this new phase and you were doing something remarkable. And even when I did your weekly, for those of you that follow me on Instagram, G1 Writer, okay, that's how you search me for those of you who don't follow me, okay, when I posted your reading on Instagram, even that reading was very like really good and amazing actually, okay? But I still feel like a lot of you been, for some of you, you've been going through some financial issues. Um, and for a lot of you, it's health. And for some of you, it's all of that and, <laughs> and much more, okay? So, I feel like for those of you that have been really um, fearful about your finances or your health, Okay, this is a good time again to kind of reevaluate what you're eating, how can you pamper yourself, what are you putting into your body, are you drinking your pro your protein shakes, are you exercising, are you saving your money? Okay, um, I just feel it's like a lot of you are dealing with some type of lack of self, like lack of value. And when you feel that way, of course you can't feel complete within. Or even when you feel that way, of course it's hard to have confidence in the real world when you feel like crap deep inside, right? So how do you get back to that? I'm glad you asked. So it's going to take some, some spiritual grounding for you to actually get refocused. And when I say spiritual grounding, I don't mean like you have to go to, you know, out to a church or anything like that. But what I'm saying is try to practice some type of spiritual rituals or um, try to focus a lot on your well-being, like taking a lot of bubble baths or, well, if you're a woman anyway, <laughs> you want to put like a lot of rose quartz around you, surrounding yourself with aromas that smell good. You know, if you're a guy, you may want to put, you know, brand new cologne on, or you may want to do your hair differently, girls or guys, right? Um, you may decide to go on a health plan or try to start up a new routine where you're exercising, doing boot camp of some sort. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of balance now where you're now saying, no, I'm going to prioritize 
at 8 a.m., this is what I'm doing. 10 a.m., this is what I'm doing. At 1 p.m., this is what I'm doing. Tomorrow, I'll focus on the rest. Like, I just feel like you're more um, grounded this season, okay? If I can kind of summarize the whole energy, I would just say that you're more grounded this season. Because you have, for a lot of you, you have been kind of scattered recently, right? And been kind of indecisive and unsure and feeling insecure and not really feeling like yourself. Having all these... Uh, indecisive moments where it's been hard for you to decide or make up your mind about what you want to do, even when it comes to your finances or even when it comes to your health, you just been having these, these indecisive moments. And so the universe is blessing you with great clarity this season. The only thing is that Mercury is going into cancer this season, right? And that, even though Mercury is your ruling planet, Going into cancer may make you feel a bit more vulnerable, which in your case is a good thing because that is going to allow you to be more vulnerable within yourself, taking better care of yourself, pampering yourself, going out more, um, doing your hair more, you know, whatever. You may, instead of taking two showers, you may decide to take three showers just for the hell of it. Okay, so that's good. There's a lot of uh, physical and emotional energy that is surrounding you as well. So whenever you do feel, like if you have moments this season where you do feel a bit off or, um, sorry guys, I'm because I wrote some notes here. Okay, so even if you have moments where you feel a bit off or you feel like, Sorry, guys, I heard something. Okay. So even if you feel a bit off or if you feel like you're losing yourself and you feel like you're having one of the moments where you can't really concentrate, just calm down, recenter yourself, okay? Even if you feel like you're losing focus, okay, it's like I want you to remember that place what it and what it felt like when you were extremely financially successful, when you were totally happy in love, when you were physically fit, I want you to remember those moments and really go through this season working at to get back to that moment, like working at it, okay? I love that feeling, so I'm working at it so I can feel like that again, okay? So this, this season for you is really just kind of a relaxed moment. Like it's not really meant for you to do too much except for just taking better care of yourself. For a lot of you, you may be suffering with, um, a lot of you may be suffering with some type of low, like lower back issues or for a lot of you, you may even be having a lot of um, skin irritations, okay? So again, this is really allowing, you know, I'm just letting you know that you may want to pay attention to um, what you are drinking and what you're eating, what you're putting in your body, the type, even the type of material that you wear. Like, you know, like right now, this is like really soft cotton material, right? So my skin feels really good in it. So try to wear material that really calms you, that really calms your skin, that brings you great comfort, okay? Really, really pay attention to that, okay? Because I do see, like, a lot of you feeling like, ugh, I don't like this. I don't like my hair this way, or I don't like this outfit. Like, <laughs> um, But, Gemini, you don't have to really focus too much on those things, okay? I feel like you're worrying about all the wrong things you don't need to worry about. So, I mean, but this, on a lighter note, I mean, when it comes to your finances, though, okay, or your career, I feel like there could be someone in your life who may be, um, like, it could be a woman or it could be a man for some of you, or maybe it could be a man with feminine attributes, okay, who may be uh, reducing your finances. So you may have a cutback of some sort or you may have some lacking in the financial area. And I think that that is what's been, I think that's what's causing you a lot of frustration is that you waited so long for this moment. And I feel like just be careful about what you sign this season. Make sure that you read everything because I feel like either someone is not being totally truthful 
to you about your finances. Like they're, they're either, it's not like they're lying, but they're not telling you everything. Okay. Um, and this could be someone at work, excuse me. This could be someone at work. Okay, you may have money laying around and it just suddenly disappeared for some odd reason. So watch who you, um, your energy is very weird this season. It's kind of like you want to focus on you and feel relaxed, but then there's little hiccups along the way that tend to frustrate you. And I think that's why the universe is telling you so much to just relax, okay? Um, but whoever this person is... They, I feel like they may not have your best interest at heart, okay? So be very cautious about signing up for deals that sound too good to be true. Um, try your best not to invest in something that is like, yeah, I said it right the first time. Like anything that just sounds like it's too good, like, oh, you don't have to do this. You just get all this. You get all that. Like be very cautious of fast talkers and smooth talkers okay people that like to try to woo you over with their words okay be very cautious of those people especially i feel like for a lot of you this could be a woman it could be a sibling it could be like uh someone close that you know very well um especially regarding your financial affairs okay pay pay close attention to how these people are treating you Okay, um, and it's especially they're talking really, really fast, like they just want to hurry up and get it over with. Yeah, don't be, don't allow their hastiness to um, make you feel guilty or, you know, take your time, reevaluate everything, study the notes, study the contract, whatever it is. Just please do your own research before you decide to actually jump in something that you'll later on regret, especially. If it involves like your EIN number, like if you're a business owner and you have an EIN number or if you have a social security number, right? Like anything dealing with that or like your direct deposits or anything like that, don't give anyone your um, account number. Um, don't give anyone like your um, card number. It, I mean, of course, that happens every day, damn near, right? Like, we're shopping, of course. But I mean, if it's like something like, you gotta do this now or forever hold your peace type thing, and they're rushing you and forcing you to sign up right now or you won't get it, like, and they're eager to take your card number or your account number, do not give it to them, okay? But if you feel in your heart like this is what you really wanna do, then of course, I mean, by all means, but what I'm saying is that this is a season where, again, taking care of yourself. And that means even financially, protecting your finances, protecting your wealth, protecting your stability. And if you give your information away to the wrong people, you're going to feel sorry in about six months, okay? And not even that, probably like two months. Be very, very cautious. This person is not who they say they are, okay? Um, I don't care how well they dress, how good they smell, how good they look. You have to be careful, okay? Um, this can even be someone from your past for a lot of you. This can be um, an ex or this, because I feel like, you know, with that Mercury going into Cancer energy, it's going to bring up a lot of past life energy into the, into the zone and... Uh, so again, yeah, this could be someone from your past. So be aware that you don't have to let anyone else's, that you don't allow anyone else's negative energy to affect you as well, okay? So if this person had a really low vibration and they were always really negative or mean to you or always for some reason had a negative influence on you, don't even bother. Like, don't even waste your time, okay? If they were negative then, and they're still having tendencies or they're showing you signs that they did not change, follow your heart. Follow your gut, that gut feeling, that solar plexus. Trust me, you want to follow it as much as possible this season. Release any other uh, toxic energy around you, okay? You want to maybe use feng shui, clean up a bit more in your area. You may want to tidy up a bit more. You may want to also try to organize your life a bit more during the season, okay? And trust me, you know, you do have the support of the universe this season, so it's nothing that you can ask for this season that will not uh, be given unto you, okay? But the problem is you have to have balance. So a lot of prayer, a lot of balance. A lot of prayer, a lot of balance. That is going to help you see through 
everybody's BS. So if somebody is not being totally truthful with you, you will be able to point it out with no problem. But you have to practice a lot of prayer, a lot of patience, a lot of balance, okay? And that's really it, Gemini. I mean, your reading was very straight to the point. But even when it comes to love, let me tell you, even when it comes to love, you know, this is a good time for you to try to be open to love. Like, if you are open to dating someone new, you know, go for it, okay? But, again, just look out for signs and symbols and things that, you know, that make you uncomfortable. You know, put a stop to it right away. Don't wait until you catch feelings to put a stop to it, okay? But also, try to be as open-minded to people who are genuine and people who really do like you as a person. Try to be very receptive and open-hearted, okay? But the universe is here. I just hear the universe saying, we got your back. Like, we got you. Okay, so even in love, the universe has you, okay? But when it comes to whoever this woman is, okay, again, for a lot of you, it could be a woman at work, or it could even be a man with feminine traits, okay? You may be bisexual you know, bisexual or gay or whatever the case is, if it's one of those type of people, okay, be very cautious. I'm not saying to judge people, but you have to be open-minded, okay? Be very cautious about giving out your account information and your social, your EIN number, your direct deposit information. Be very cautious with that this season, okay? Because, again, when Mercury going into cancer, is going to make you feel guilty, making you feel vulnerable, making you feel like, okay, maybe I should do this because nobody else won't accept my appetite no 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 the universe has your back and you have to trust the process so i love you gemini thank you for watching please like and share and subscribe to this channel let me know what you think and how you feel and if you need me just check out my website g1insights.org love you bye